John Nelson is with us on the headset. Punter Sam Vanderhaar will join us right after John. But a couple minutes with John. Uh, first of all, John, uh, as we've been saying to the guys, congrats on being 5-0 and and getting your first Big 12 away win today. It had to feel great. Yeah, yeah, it was a good one. Uh, this Baylor team, you know, they... They, uh, they really gave it to us. I mean, they didn't make it easy. They were they were playing tough the whole game, so it was a good one to win. All right, their first offensive snap. It's you that gets the tip with Blake getting the pick. Is that the way it went? That's That sounds correct. All right. How they, well, so first play of the game, and, and you get to make a play defensively, and the tackles get to combine on it. How good does that feel with you and the Mangler? Oh, it feels great. Yeah, but for me and Blake are good buddies and been, been together since day one, so to see uh, me and him make a play together is, is just really sweet. All right, so let's get into this, John. It was uh, 10 a.m. Mountain, 11 Central kick, and obviously big change where you were kicking off at 8.30 last week and early morning this week. How much do you feel like the time of day and the kick affected you and this team? Um, I don't think it affected too much. I mean, we were playing lights out the first quarter. I mean, they get a they get a QB draw on fourth down that we uh, we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't allow. We kind of got uh, mixed up on, on defense, and then, they had a couple fourth down, uh, you know, conversions that, I mean, those are freaking tight plays. And, you know, the number, I, number, they're, they're, you know, perimeter athletes were insane. So to see, you know, you, I mean, you could say that scored 28 points and, you know, we had a lull or whatever, but, I mean, we were playing tough the whole game, in my opinion. But they just, I mean, props to them. I mean, it's not easy to win in the Big 12. John, we haven't had an opportunity to catch up with you as much as I'd like to. Just that interior play, you play the position that I played for so many years. I, I love that position, love that technique. Talk to me about what your role was, your responsibility was, particularly against this Baylor offense. Uh, you know, the role is to make sure no runs go through your gap, no matter what. So um, whether you're playing four down or three down, you know, no no one can run in your gap. So that was kind of that. That uh, that mindset, and then on the pass, you got to push the pocket, and then be ready for get your hands up, kind of like the first play, um, and get ready for quarterback scramble to see if he can make a play. Their quarterback was uh, was pretty darn good, I thought. He was uh, he was a challenge both through the air and running the football. Yeah, he was. I mean, he was a tremendous athlete. He was a couple a couple footballs he threw that were freaking on the money. People in his face. I mean, props to him. He he played. You know, he played really good. How mindful were you of the of the fact that uh, that that BYU didn't pick up a Big 12 away win last week, and, and this was your first uh, shot to get it this year, and you wanted to get that done? Yeah, I mean, we we didn't really touch on it, you know, before the game. Um, I like to go into every game thinking, you know, it's a whole new it's a whole new uh, whole new battle. You know, I like I like the mindset of going one and zero, and each game is just as important as the next. So, even though it was a huge game, and I'm sure Cougar Nation loves this, I mean. Uh, the, you know the mentality and the and the standards shouldn't change. You know if we're home or away. So uh, I'm proud of the guys for how they played, but um, we we just went at it like a, just any other game. Uh, speaking of Cougar Nation, you had that entire corner right behind you, is stacked from bottom all the way to the very top of BYU fans. Then you had the north end zone that was full of BYU fans on the third deck. Do you feel their influence in these road games and? Just your your overall take of playing for BYU and feeling that fan support. Oh yeah, I mean they. I mean these, these BYU fans are freaking crazy, dude. I mean they're <laughs> they're everywhere and they come out of the woodworks to every single game. I mean even at SMU there was more BYU fans than freaking SMU fans. But yeah, in this back corner here, it was. I mean there was a couple of third downs. It was getting loud to the point where they had to like repeat some stuff on the old line. So I mean they they freaking cheer their heads off and we we appreciate you know the heck out of them uh, john i've got an opportunity to meet your dad a couple of times and he's just not your size what, when did you first beat him in arm wrestling when, when did he <laughs> stop arguing with you you know my dad's so easy to get along with i never had to arm wrestle him but that <laughs> makes makes a lot of sense my my dad is a real i mean if you have if you don't know him now you will his name is dave nelson and you'll see him don't oh, worry <laughs> he's the best man he is such a great man and and i love it because he just he walks that John Nelson banner around proudly. You, you've done him proud. You've done uh, done us all proud, John. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, John. Appreciate your time. Enjoy the bye week, and we'll uh, we'll.